The TJ Holmes, I'm sorry, but the TJ Holmes, Amy Roback thing is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I'm so glad you picked this to talk about. I didn't yes. know if you would. So Give glad. us the update on what they're doing. So they've launched a podcast, which, you know, <laughs> I, th- I think, I think I had read that they spent the better part of 2024 taking meetings and shopping themselves around. Uh, and no one wanted no- them. Acres. I can Nobody I can attest them. I myself have spoken to media executives, many of whom I know from my many years in this business, who laughed with me about these two attempting to get, you know, to, to generate interest like, OK, yeah, no, no, thanks. But no, but keep going. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's amazing. I, you know, these are two, I think, mediocrities who really lucked into the jobs of a lifetime, you know, highly paid glamour job. You have a degree of fame that's not overwhelming, but surely enjoyable. Um, and then you screw it all up. Uh, and so they've they've launched this podcast, which, by the way, in the first episode, they offer listeners no uh, reason for its existence. They offer no premise <laughs> of the podcast going forward. They are so in love with their origin story as a couple. Oh I mean, their, their origin story that's completely, again, sanitized, uh, you know, they're eliding, you know, uncomfortable truths such as, you know, cheating on their spouses, uh, you know, and and then sort of also wanting us to believe that they're, they're such broadcast talents that were unfairly kicked out of legacy media because as TJ says in this cringe-inducing podcast, we are the people who lost our jobs because we love each other, oh. you know? Uh, would have us believe that they also are so naive as to think that they wouldn't need to disclose their involvement to ABC executives while they're also griping in the same podcast that they were about to go to those same executives and disclose. But God, you know, if not for just the gossip rags, like getting ahead of the story and they just didn't know what to do with themselves. And uh, they completely also, um, and I wish they had pulled this clip, but you can go online and watch them on the air the day after ABC news, put them on the air the day after this scandal broke Mm -hmm. and they're smugly laughing and sharing jokes with each other about what a great week it's been. And they just wish it could keep going on and on forever. Just showing like complete disdain for the viewing audience who, you know, this is like the third or fourth hour of good morning America. These are stay at home moms largely watching this show. I don't think that they take the idea of adultery that cavalierly or find it like that much of a, so they're also just showing just complete contempt for the people in middle America who were watching them and, you know, in effect signing their paychecks. So this is the whole podcast and uh, it's insufferable. It's boring. There's one great moment where they sort of amp up this, uh, this crisis that TJ faces in the wake oh, of wait, this. Oh, wait, I've got this. I've got okay, this. Good. Where they talk about his, well, you'll hear it. L- listen to what they say <laughs> happened to him when he found out. I think it was the Daily Mail that broke this story. And by the way, yeah. they're now claiming that they were not adulterers, that they were in divorce proceedings when they were having their affair. Their spouses mm-hmm. disagree with that. I mean, this was in the initial, uh, the, the, that's just a cover. That's obviously just a cover now. Um so by the way, if if it were true that the Daily Mail got it wrong, 100% they would sue. They would 100% oh, yeah. sue and say, you absolutely disparaged us with false information and you cost us our job. Guess what? That never happened for a reason. So now they're talking about in, in line with Meghan and Harry, frankly, well, we're victims, we're the, we're the real victims. They're talking about TJ's trauma when the story broke. Take a listen, SOT 36. Well, then you had to do a welfare check, I guess is the best way to put it. It was three, four, that's a very, very understated way of putting it. At (laughs) 3.45 p.m. that afternoon, you sent me a text basically saying, I'm sorry. You were the love of my life. I'm so sorry this has happened. And you just kept saying you were sorry, but you were using past tense in the entire text. And... I texted back and I said, you're scaring me. I remember going down the hall, opening the door and I saw you and you were just splayed out on your bed. 
And I ran to you. I said, TJ, and you didn't move. And I remember it was the most awful thing having to touch your body to see if you were warm. The day was essentially oh me getting off work at 11 a.m. And I immediately started pounding vodka. And I didn't stop for the several hours. And then I took uh, who knows how many um, weed edibles. And that's how I ended up in the state I was in. Maureen. Wow, Amy is one lucky woman. I'll tell. I'll tell you that. I mean, that's worth blowing up your life for, right? I got a grown man whose method of coping with a with a disaster entirely of his own making is to pound vodka at eleven a.m. and then take untold weed edibles. I mean, uh, I love. How embarrassing. I love it. I love it. Oh, and at base, what is it? It's like okay, according to you. The only thing you're losing is your job. According to you, your marriage is already over and all parties are already notified. So there's no personal embarrassment there. There's only a professional consequence. And she thought he killed himself over the loss of the third or fourth hour of GMA? What does that say about her belief in him and, and who he is? My God. Like, and who so thinks they could die never. from a couple of weed edibles? <laughs> exactly. You can't overdose from weed, number one. Number two, narcissists never, ever kill themselves. It's the truth. Yeah. And thirdly, this is, I think, a great talking point for a podcast about this lovely origin story. How about the reports that came out while ABC was executing this internal review that TJ Holmes was a predator on that set? Right. How she was not his first. Report? She was not his first, but how about the reports of him with younger women who felt that he was in a position of power over them? How about, I love, this is the kind of stuff I wish the morning show really, really did. Uh, you know, the, the other producer that he was involved with for three years while he was married, he was having this affair with her for three years. And this female producer was also using Amy Roback as like her, her shoulder to cry on. And mm -hmm. Amy was counseling both her and TJ through this affair. I mean, what, let's talk about that. I would listen yeah. to that all day long. Yeah, me too. But theirs, they want us to believe, theirs is a, is a love story and they're happier and healthier than ever. No one is going to listen to this. Enjoy your two minutes back. The only thing that is interesting is your weird and apparently false takes on your affair, which we all see right through. But there is a twist to the story, Maureen. There is an unexpected twist here. Tell us what it is. Oh, thanks. The unexpected <laughs> twist is that their exes are now dating and very happy with each other. Amazing. And the twist to that twist is that Amy and TJ are furious because this disclosure has stolen the tiny bit of thunder their podcast drop got. <laughs> Karma. I love it. love it. I have something to tell Amy and TJ. I've said it before, but it's true. You lose them how you get them. You lose them how you get them. Yeah. So we'll look forward to that update later. It's the Christmas and holiday season, everyone. Time for gift giving, parties with friends and family, and getting compliments everywhere you go, looking years younger, thanks to Genucel. From now through Christmas, Genucel's most popular package is more than 70% off at Genucel.com. Treat yourself and a loved one to the absolute best skincare in the world. See those troubling forehead, wrinkles, fine lines, skin redness, pesky bags and puffiness, and even a sagging jawline disappear with Genucel's most popular collection. With its immediate effects product, see results in less than 12 hours guaranteed or you get your money back. Plus, included in every one of their most popular packages is a free hyaluronic acid serum, Totally great. You need this, especially this time of year, for skin hydration that will restore your youthful appearance. Visit genucel.com slash MK60 right now, and you just enter my special promo, MK60, to get an additional 10% off your entire order. Every order today, instantly upgraded to free express shipping. genucel.com slash MK60. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.